Yeah. So, this is new. We're in. And this looks completely different. So, now we're on the updated version. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and the infected is the game. And in today's episode, we are now checking out the new updated infected game. We got a lot of comments from the last video that I was not playing in beta. <sighs> but now we are. So now this is the new updated infected game. Let's chill. Wow. That, yeah, that's different. This is the new map. There's the four-wheeler that we have to fix at some point. There's a wheel. Uh, we start at a lighthouse. I'm assuming near the beach. Let's walk around and check out our surroundings. Yeah, I started off that series wrong. It was an entertaining video, nonetheless. I enjoy the infected. But... What I thought I was playing was the updated version, which it was not. Okay. Yeah. We are on the ocean. Yeah. Okay. So you can see me down the bottom right-hand side. We are in the southeastern part of the map. There is a lot of roads. It seems like there's a lot of mountains. I'm not sure if what I'm seeing is mountains, but can we zoom? Yes, we can zoom in. I really hope this entire map is not a mountain range. Anyway, we're gonna explore. I feel so stupid. Hold F to view tutorial. ATV recovery and repair. Examine the all-terrain vehicle ATV to learn what's required for operation. Then search the nearby area for the supplies and parts necessary to repair the vehicle by pressing E. Once the ATV is repaired, press F to bring up the next task. Okay, so the first task in this game is to repair the ATV. There was one wheel sitting next to it, and I guess we're going to have to find the rest of the parts. Well, from what I can see, it needs a wheel. Two wheels. We just picked up the tire. Well, it looks like it added the tire. You can see the menu right here, what is needed. We need two iron ingot, ten screws, four tires, a gas can. Awesome. What is this? Let's search this building. There's another tire. I guess the tires we're going to have to carry one by one. There we go. We got two tires. Are we going to be able to track this map right off the bat? There's a gas can. There's a cup. <laughs> Pretty sure it doesn't need a cup. Let's go upstairs. Wow, that's the most jank staircase I've ever seen in my life. There's the iron ingot. Let's search. We got some screws here and some coal. <laughs> Let's put some coal in there. More iron ingot. Let's search in here. What is this? Plastic, clay, coal. All right. What man, dude? I think this building is pretty much empty. But I can guarantee you there's something up in the lighthouse. There's some screws. We got enough screws now. And here's the rest of the tires. We cannot get up in the tall part of the lighthouse. It's missing a staircase. I, I'm a bit afraid because I know now that the models and the enemy have been updated. I'm hearing footsteps. Okay, let's get this built quick. There we go. All 10 screws, two iron ingot. We need one more tire. Okay, I'm paranoid. Let's grab this tire real quick. There we go. I just heard it again. It might be animals. Here we go. There we go. Task complete. Use a... Wow. Okay, visibility is okay. The ATV is very loud. I guess we're just gonna drive around for a little bit. 
see what we can see. What was that? Bruh, I'm hearing stuff all around me. Let's stop here. Oh my god. It must have been the sound of my ATV. I'm not sure. What is that? Wires. Okay. So we've got vehicles now. It drives pretty damn good. Let's check the map. Okay, so we're going towards a dead end. Let's see what's at the end of the road. I like the little rev. Doing some RC Pro-Am driving. Yeah, I guess that's the sound of the ATV. It's like a rattling noise or something. I'm not 100% sure if I like this map. There are a lot of mountains. Like the whole map is a mountain. But it's big. It is really big. We've still got cave locations. It says cart locations and then truck locations, but I'm not seeing those. Yeah, I'm not seeing those at all. Land claim location. Wow. Well, let's keep going. It drives very well. At least on the road. I have obviously haven't tested it off-road, but... This drives better than most games I've played so far. God, the, the mountains, dude. This makes me feel very claustrophobic. I wonder why they chose a mountain terrain for this map. There's another car. Check our surroundings. I'm not trying to get bit in the butt cheeks by a vampirolite. Got some decent loot in the cars. Yeah, dude, we're going to have to spend a lot of this episode driving around trying to find a good location to build. Because we got to start all over again. I'll tell you what. We're going to pull over at a random spot. Let's check our list. No place like home. With your vehicle repaired, it's time to head out and explore the world. First, locate a suitable spot to construct your base. Then, craft and place a clean pole to start construction. Press M to display map. Okay. Well, that's what we're doing now, I guess. So, let's keep driving around. Whoa. Oh, my God. Yep, there's a dude right there. That's a town. We're getting the hell out of here. Okay. So, there's towns in this game. I mean, it's pretty obvious. What is that? Oh, it's a deer. Now, I don't want to be super far away from a town. Let's look at the map. Let's go to the end of this road where it forks or tees off. Then let's go north. Just a little bit. There was a vampirolite just standing there. And he didn't see me. Oh, we lucked out. Ooh, a pumpkin. Yeah, We're going to pull over for a pumpkin. I don't know why I just picked it up. Harvest. There we go. We got some food. This map is so big. It's disgusting. I think I found our spot. It's loaded with rocks. Loaded with trees. And it's next to a water source. Yeah, bro. Let's look around. Is there any fish in this water? Oh, we can just walk right across it. Okay. But I like this. It's almost dead center of the map. Gives us some survival options. The jumping man is a bit off from the last update. But yeah, I like this. Here we are. Now, we ha obviously, we haven't explored the map. This isn't the most open area. As a matter of fact, that is up there. But it looks like there's a town there. No, maybe not. Let's see if we can spot towns on the map. Let's zoom in here. You definitely cannot spot towns on the map. So my guess is these areas, these light areas, are probably where buildings are. 
and we want to stay far away from that. We want to be close, but far enough away that we're not attacked. So I think right here is perfect for now. It's in the middle of the map, next to a water source. We can access parts of the map with ease. Yeah, this is it right here. This is home. All right, man, let's uh, stake our claim. There's a watermelon. Let's harvest that. Now we got to figure out what side we want to build on. Can we drive across this? Yes, we can. Yeah, I think right here is perfect. Right in this area. And I'm pretty sure that when we stake our claim, that's how the AI knows where to attack. But still, let's do it. Let's go into our crafting and see what it takes to make a stake claim pole. Okay, here it is. It's under other on construction. Land claim pole. I guess we're going to put it over here by the river. There we go. Task complete. Can we write on that? Oh my God. Enter name. Mad pole. <laughs> Mad Vlad. There we go. Mad pole. Mad Vlad. This is the Mad Pole. Not because it's a pole, but like North Pole. Whatever. You get it. All right. Now what? Gather one stone. Gather one stick. Craft. Okay. So we went through this in the last episode. So we should be able to knock this out fairly quickly. Let's find some rocks. There's plenty of them around. There we go. Find carbs. I like the sound that it makes once you uh, check off one of your tasks. That wasn't in the last update. Or the last game, I should say. This seems like a whole new game. Oh my god, the stamina is... It's been tweaked. It's not as good as it was before, I don't think. Eh, it's okay. It's not bad. I feel like it drains a little faster. Okay, and we can also see our mad pole on the map. So, we know how to get back home. Did I just hear... Yeah, that was a goat. I still cannot find a rock, dude. Yep, there's one right there. <laughs> okay. We've got the stick, the stone, craft an axe. There we go. Good stuff. Craft the stone blade. Gather plant fibers. Okay, so let's cut down a tree. Watch out, Billy Goat. Here we go. Oh, yeah, they updated this for sure. Look how realistic it looks every time I hit the wood. That's amazing. It's hard to distinguish reality in a video game at this point. We're getting thirsty too, so we've got to hurry. Okay, so we gathered plant fiber. There's a lot of animal noises over here. Sounds like I'm at a damn farm. All right, now we got to craft a stone blade. We got to find another stone. Whoa, dude, look at this area. Yeah, I think... Oh. My. God. Never mind. Yeah, we're getting away from this place. That would have been the perfect spot for a base. But it seems like it's been overrun by vampirolites and cave dwellers. I haven't seen the new enemy, so I don't have a nickname for him yet. This is not a good time for your stamina to run out, that's for sure. Hey, game. If you wouldn't mind, can I have one more rock, please? That would be fantastic. Maybe this wasn't a good place to be. <laughs> and it kind of looks like the sun's going down already. Let's see. We're going to have to drink dirty water. I don't know if we've got... Yeah, we've got a canteen. There we go. Okay. We are hydrated. Took a little bit of a health hit. There's a stone right there. All right. Let's go to the crafting board. Craft a stone blade. And now we're going to craft a pickaxe. Yeah, here comes the damn brain again. Nothing new. All right, checklist. Build a saw bench. And so it begins. Still going to do a four by. I'm going to build it right here. We're going to put it a little bit more back in the trees. And this time, 
We're not going to build four. We'll build three. Okay. There we go. I got a bad feeling, man, that something's going to come charging out of the woods at me. I'm actually glad I made the last episode, so now we've got, like, kind of a warm-up to starting this game off quick. and start chopping. There's one. There's two. There's three. Task list. Water. All right, let's build a basin. Or a basin. I'm going to build it down by the water. My bright light right over here. Let's we'll put it right in the middle of nowhere. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to fill up these saw benches with wood planks. That way we can kind of get a head start on things. Oh my god. Bro. Am I tripping? I might be tripping balls, balls, ball, 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 ball. I heard something run up on me, man, and it was breathing heavy. I, I must be tripping, dude. Getting paranoid out here, man. Survival will do that to you. There we go. We've got plenty of planks. Let's get our bassine built. Need six planks to finish it. There we go. All right, checklist. Build a foundation. On it, brah. Okay, again. One, two, three, four. That's how we're going to roll. Just like that. And one more. Okay, here we go one foundation we need to get a bed put up man our energy levels are sucking right now they're only filling up halfway which is not good speed up production a bit and throw out a couple things we're gonna build a bed and some boxes we didn't do that last time there we go there we go got our foundation let's put up a bed about right there six planks there we go let's get our energy levels back we are thirsty let's wake up why do i hear like that hollow sound starting to worry me we are encrimbered <laughs> well we're not encrimbered we're thirsty okay let's eat there we go Get some carbohydrates. I want to try to not use our MREs this time. We are going to eat all of our pumpkins. I just completely maxed out our carbohydrates. Okay. I'm I'm very worried. Sun's about to come up. It is kind of dark, but I can still see. I'm going to go ahead and place our walls and get this structure built first. Because we're going to need fire, and I know it's going to start raining. We're going to do the exact same build we did last time. There we go. Get our door. Perfect. Let's get to work. Okay, got more planks made. Let's get these walls done. There we go. There we go. We got this, man. We're kicking irs. Go. There we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, walls. We're done. Let's get a door up. And there we go. We are kind of safe now. They didn't change the sound effect for the door. Okay, ceiling. Simple. Flat. I like it. Simply flat. <laughs> Three wood, four planks. All right, let's see. There's one. There's two. Here is three. And four. All right. 
now we have a home. Now I'm going to do something a bit different than I did last time. I'm actually going to put the furnaces outside because I know I'm going to get rid of them later. As a matter of fact, we can't put them outside because we need them to stay dry. I forgot about that. So yeah, we're going to have to put them inside. That sucks. We'll put them next to our bed. We're going to build four and we're going to place a fire right in the middle. We'll put it right about there. And then I know we're going to need a workbench. So let's go ahead and build a workbench. That's a saw bench. There we go. Now storage, on the other hand, we can put outside. We're going to build four boxes. That way we can store rocks and materials. There's one. There's two. There's three. And we're out of planks. That's great. And our axe is about to break, so... I'm going to go ahead and beat up a rock, grab some rocks, make another axe. Oh, man, dude, we need some protein. We're going to have to eat an MRE. There we go. That helped out a lot. Okay, let's get these planks done. Bam. Okay, there's our last one. So we've got storage. Now let's build our fire. Oh, one more rock. He gonna rob me like that, man. Bam. Okay. Let's check our tasks. Build a forge. That's what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. There's one. Mm -hmm. There's two. Three. Almost, baby. And number four, baby. I love saying baby. Baby, baby. Okay. Now we need a lot of firewood. Is the sun going down already? There's no way, dude. No. Okay. Maybe it's about to rain again on my nerves okay got a stack of wood let's harvest it all and I'm gonna put a lot of this in one of these boxes because I hate having to hunt for firewood that looks like enough <laughs> oh my god <sighs> that is a ton of firewood okay let's set a blaze one, two, three, four. There we go. All right. We are cooking rocks, bruh. Not those kind of rocks. Okay. We need to get our workbench built. But we cannot do that until we make nails. Let's go ahead and get our planks in place. We are getting thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, man. We'll get you a drink. Ooh, wee, that was dirty water. You know what? I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. We'll we'll take the health hit just a little bit. In in, you know, the sake of time. Or for the sake of time, I should say. There we go. Got our planks in. We've got two, four, six, eight. I probably need one more. Nah, never mind. That'll give us one iron ingot. Now we need more rocks. Let's go harvest some. We're basically doing the exact same thing we did in the last episode, only we're doing it a lot more efficient because things are growing by twice as fast. So we may be able to push on and do a little bit more. Oh, task complete. There we go. Still getting rocks. We love rocks. Call me a trap house, bruh, because I be cooking all those rocks into iron ingot. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> in order to make nails, we need an anvil. And in order to and in order to make an anvil, we need five iron ingot, which that's no problem. Okay, I'm going to do this because it's going to make... 
things even and much more efficient. It just gives us an even number. So we know every time we fill up the furnaces that that's going to make two iron ingot instead of one and a half. It just confuses things. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we got an even number of furnaces. I think it's even. No, wait a minute. No, it's an odd number of furnaces, but it makes an even number of ingot. Yeah, I think that made sense. Mmm, look at all that delicious iron ingot. Yeah, we've got our inventory almost completely full. I think we've got enough to go ahead, make our anvil. Let's throw some fat stacks in there, bruh. We're going to make two giant furnaces this time. Not one, but two. That's ten iron ingot, right? Is that what we needed? We needed five. So we use the other five for the furnace, the big furnace. Mmm, that looks good. Let's eat. I'm going to be encrimbered with iron ingot. Okay, we need eight plizzles for shizzles. Ah, sun's going down again. So I think now we're on day two. I think we're running. Yeah. We're running low on protein. That's great. We need protein. It's almost time to start hunting animals. There's been quite a few that's ran across my base. Bruh, catch your breath, man. One, two, three. There we go. We've got the anvil. Let's make some nails. Craft. Let's make this. Yes. Okay. Now things are picking up. Checklist. Hunting. Technology pages. Well, okay, so hunting. We need a butcher's table. There it is. We're going to do the big butcher table again. Listen, bro, don't hate the pattern, okay? Hate the player within the pattern. Man, we've utilized our space a lot better in this one, too. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and put up some blueprints. Oh, that's right. We need uh, a way to dry bricks. That's what took up a lot of the room in here. So, let's see. I'm going to do... We're going to do two big brick furnaces. I think I got that right. Yeah. One right there. Please fit. No! Well, that just kind of pooped on my plans. We'll attempt this. Put one right there. And as for the brick drying crates, I prob man, I probably should do this outside and then build a, like a overhang or a tarp over it. That would be the smart way to do it. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Let, let's try this. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I want to do three brick trays for now to start. That should be enough to get one furnace done. And we'll build a shelter right off the side of our base. Like, we'll have to build two. I actually think I did this in one of my series. Uh, I had all of my brick trays underneath these canopies. I don't know if I placed them right. Probably not. But we're going to leave those there for now, and we'll add to it. I guess we probably should sleep. So let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, we're getting really tired. When we wake up, we're going to have to drink and eat some protein. Let's get our energy up, and... Oh, God. There we go. Top O the morning. Let's get some water. And I'm just going to drink straight from the filth. Because we only need to do this twice, and then that will restore our health. Perfect. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Almost. Survival's never easy. Especially when you're stupid like me. There we go. Bam, bam. We probably could put our furnaces out here as well. I'm going to leave them inside for now. Okay, so we need 30 nails. We've got plenty of iron ingot. Here we go. I don't know how we're using nails before planks, but we are. There we go. Man, we're looking so good, man, right off the bat. Okay, we're going to get back on making iron ingot, so we need a lot more rocks. I'm going to have to build another pickaxe because this one is breaking. And it's broke. <laughs> 
All right, back to it, baby. Baby, baby, baby. <gasps> um. What the hell is that? I'm closing my door. Oh my god. What the hell is. Yes! I'm leaving now. Oh my god. I gotta save the game. Yeah, saving the game now. Can I run in water? I'm gonna have to try to fight. I'm 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 gonna die. What just happened? Enter to respawn. I just respawned on my bed. What? Uh, it was a bad dream. It was a bad dream and stuff. Yeah. Back, back to work. Uh, I don't think I've ever been more confused in my entire life. How are you supposed to defend against that? <sighs> I am dumbfounded right now. Okay, so that was our first encounter of the uh, wrong turn uh, enemies in this game. I pulled out my axe in desperation and got the shite kicked right out of my neck hole. <sighs> and I, I'm still a bit in shock. Just a tad. The screwed up thing is, I feel like there was no consequence for dying. I understand why, because that was a one-sided fight from hell. That, my friends, was not fair at all. So now the question is, what do we do about that? And if that happens, again, like, I don't, I don't know at this point. I'm so confused. What They jumped through my front door. All of them. All of them got through into my house. For one, that's that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Two, there was one guy that was like knee high. It was like a damn leprechaun. Another was a wolf man that ran 5,000 miles an hour. And that's all I remember. Okay, man, that, that was a bit traumatizing. Just, just a hair. Anyway, we're, we're going to move on. Right now, we're just, you know, grabbing firewood. Walking at the speed of insects. And crambulated to the max. Let's, let's just, let's just keep going. Okay. This is our first haul. Or second haul. Of iron ingot. Off our tiny stoves. There we go. Let's see if that was enough. <laughs> one more. We're going to do this one thing at a time. We're going to get our iron ingot filled on both furnaces, and then we're going to go back and we're going to make bricks. I like to have my inventory clear. I don't like to do more than one thing at a time because my brain scrambles. I get angry. I start making fun of people. The temperature in my shorts elevates. I start stinking and sweating profusely. I start eating my fingernails, punching bags of marshmallows. You get the point. Might take a while, but we'll get there. You want to see a thing of beauty? Look at this. I'm working hard behind this. I'm going to fill up this entire chest of stuff. Ingot, that is. But we are running out of rocks close to the base. And then I got an idea. I was like, why don't I just use the four-wheeler to traverse literally everywhere? You might be thinking to yourself, Vlad, that's what I said in the comment section just a second ago. Yeah, right. You think you're so smart. Well, at least I'm not the dummy that played the old version of the game and thought it was the updated version. Huh? 
listen, I don't make mistakes, okay? Happy accidents is the way I was raised. We're out of firewood. Man, this stupid weather. I hate it. Makes me feel all weird inside. Boy, we chopped down a lot of logs yesterday. Like, a lot. I've been feeding off this one pile for, like, hours. Let me know down in the comment section if you're, uh, if you're digging a playthrough of this game. I, I would really like to know. I spend a lot of time reading the comment section. I don't reply to everybody, but I do read pretty much everything. What was... What the hell? What, oh, it's a sheep. That messed me up. Also, guys, we are trying our best to get to one million subscribers. We're trying so hard. It's been eight years, man. It's been a long ride. I'm not in no rush, but I do want to get to it. <laughs> Hitting that like button is also a big part of uh, the video getting views and uh, things spreading. So if you would, please kindly. You don't have to, but I would be greatly in your debt if you did. Hit the like button, become my friend, and subscribe. And I'll try my best to keep you entertained. For all the haters out there, I don't want to hear a peep. Because guess what? I'm still here. Where are you? What? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Get mad. Cry about it. We're going to keep moving on. Sorry, <laughs> I went off on a rant. Let's make some firewood. I just... What was that? Not again. Please, not again. I'm crouching. I just... I heard something. You know what, bro? Just... Just go ahead and kill me. At this point... I'm gonna save the game. Okay. Uh, what? What? Oh, there's... They're still here, and I'm crouched, and everything in my base is being destroyed. He's throwing... One of them is throwing rocks. You know what? I, I can't deal with this no more, man. Yeah, there you go. What? what? Okay, we're leaving. Just gonna, I just got hit in the back of the head by a rock. Fire rock. Hey, bear, will you protect me, please? Are they chasing me? Oh, yeah, they're definitely chasing me. We are on an ATV running at night. And we still can't outrun these things. I heard a lot of stuff in my base break. Okay, I think they stopped chasing me. No, they didn't. They're still coming at me. That wolf dude just will not let up, dude. Oh, here comes the other guy down the side of the cliff. I know you guys probably can't see, so I'm going to boost the gamma for you. We're just going to drive up and down the river, you know, on a four-wheeler. I think one of them's still stuck in my house breaking everything. Like, how are you supposed to get away from that? I'm poisoned or something. I've got bacteria in my butt crack. Like, what, what, what are you supposed to do? He's still coming at me, brah. I've never been more confused in my life. Okay, so we're going to turn around and we're going to drive at him. Yeah, we just... Went flying past one. He just hit me in the back of the head with a rock. You know what? I, I'm just... I'm going to park here. There's literally nothing we can do. You can't run from them. So we're going to pull out our axe and wait for our death. Any second... Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm hitting you. I don't have a spear. This is the little guy. My axe is literally doing nothing to him. 
Now watch this. We're going to respawn. Okay, now they're gone. Boy, that was that was fantastic. Bruh. This <laughs> You know, I kind of like the old enemies now. Like what I don't understand is how a game dev can make a game and then release it and then be like, "This is an update. This is better." And <laughs> like uh, I'm so I'm so confused about the enemies, bro. I don't think I've ever been more confused about a game in my life. But we're going to keep going. Let's get this thing get off the stove. So I hit him in the face repeatedly with an axe. Did absolutely nothing. So I'm assuming, I don't know, that you have to have some sort of weapon, maybe, to actually kill them. You can't use your pickaxe or your axe. That's just my guess. We need to build a spear. Like that's going to help. This is seriously getting old. Oh, look at this dude. It's a construction worker. Yeah, go ahead and beat me mercilessly. All of you. I like it. I don't know how many episodes this game I'm going to be making. Let me know down in the comment section. How many you want? Okay, we are cooking the last batch of rocks. <laughs> We've been killed three or four times by a mob of loony characters, to say the least. We got one dude that laughs like a hyena, another guy that jumps around like a werewolf, another guy that has a construction helmet on. Like, this is, to say the least, batshit crazy. But I think we've got enough iron fragments to make a god-awful amount of iron ore. I went ahead and I got the uh, long part over with so we can just get straight into the game. Starting out of this game is very, very hard. It's a very lengthy process. You know I've noticed that the fragments take up less space than the ingot does. Yeah. So it's better to store the fragments and then cook them when you need them. And we're still going to have to make bricks. That's going to be fun. And man, there is a lot of clay stones around here, so that shouldn't take very long. We should be able to get that done lickety split yurt. I'm going to fill up my inventory. So we're going to cook what we need, just what we need, to get these filled up. Okay, there we go. That should get it done. Now, we need to worry about bricks. So let's start busting up some of these clay tablets. Look at all of them. They're scattered everywhere. Yeah, that goon squad is kind of like, it reminds me of a mix of Attack of the, uh, what, what is that clown movie? I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> the, the space clowns from outer space mixed with the damn monster squad. I love that movie. It's one of my childhood favorites. But that's what it reminds me of, man. It's loony and stupid. Like, they all come in as a group. And one throws a rock like a damn... Someone casting a spell, throwing a fireball. And you could be driving on an ATV in a straight line, and it'll hit you in the back of the head. Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I, I must say this to the devs. You really missed... You really missed on that one. The building, the crafting... The scenery, the survival, the survivor ability. You know, it's pretty spot on. You got some great things to build. I like I like the grind system, because I'm a grinder. But the uh the zombie part or the enemy part, the AI part, I think you missed on that one greatly. That's just my opinion. If you agree with me, let me know down in the comment section. I kind of miss like even though the old enemies were like I don't know. Boring? At least they weren't stupid. <laughs> I'll take boring over stupid any day. Boy, that I couldn't have I couldn't have described that any better. The last characters were boring, they were all the same. You know, you saw one stumbling around every once in a while. These characters are just stupid. The character models are pretty cool, I guess. But God, you gotta change it. No disrespect, dog. You know what I'm saying? No disrespecty. 
So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's grab a box. This box. This will be our brick box. We're going to fill it up with as much clay as possible, and then we're going to make a crap ton of sand. Oh, wait, there's a pumpkin over there. I'm not going to pick it up, though. All right. Now, the ATV is not bad. I don't know if it has unlimited gas or not. I don't see, like, a, a gas thing anywhere, but still. ATV is not bad at all. It, it rides very well. It sucks that you can't... I spoke too soon. Anyway... I don't like that you can't run over the enemy with it. That kind of sucks. Oh, we're in crimbolated. You know what? I'm going to put everything in this box. That should be enough bricks or clay to uh, start really getting some bricks made. All right. That is a mighty amount of sand. Whoops, wrong box. Okay, we're just going to be incrimbolated. And then we're going to make these bricks. And then we're going to dry these bricks. And then we're going to make massive... What were we doing again? Uh, massive stoves. Yeah. And then we're going to make a lot more stuff. And then we're going to kill a lot of stuff. And then we're going to survive more. And then we're going to eat like kings. And then we're going to stand at the top of the mountain and scream at the... Birds. Let's get it done. It's just going to rain bricks in here. Because we don't care. We don't care one bit. I want this entire house to be so loaded with bricks that I can't move. You know, we're probably... <laughs> probably... Yeah, you know, I don't care. There. Is that, an, is that enough bricks for you, brah? Okay, let's start drying them. Yeah, I think... Yeah, we definitely over... <laughs> Good God! We gotta put our sand back in here real quick. So we can make some more room. Okay. <laughs> I may have made a doo-doo. I mean a boo-boo. Okay, so it's raining now. This will be a good test. I should have cared more. Yeah, we're gonna need like two more pallets. But I, I like this setup better. Now that I know it doesn't matter... If we have a house or not, because the enemies just glitch through the walls, you know? I'm glad I did it this way. Yeah, so I'm I'm hoping that these bricks are drying. <laughs> I hope. Oh man, dude, that, that was way too many bricks. Okay, we've got a chest. Let's go ahead and fill it up with bricks. God man, the weather. Terrible. Okay, that's one box full of bricks. One box full of... Yeah. Let's go ahead and see how many we can fit in here. Oh, damn. We fit all of them. Perfect. Yeah, we're, we're Gucci main. We're in the brick making business now. You know, to give this a little bit of extra added uh, protection, I wonder if... Let's go to our buildables. I wonder if we could do... Yeah, we definitely cannot. Oh, wait. No, we can yeah, I think I'm going to do this instead. There we go. All right. Yeah, we can get those built up. Four planks, three logs. Okay, we got them in. Planks. One. Oh, we ain't got no room for planks. I'm going to have to literally drop every single brick on the ground. There we go. Now it's just extra added comfort to make sure those dry and I'm gonna go ahead and build I'm gonna go ahead and build some more of these maybe two more just like that and we're running low on planks that's great mmm planks oh man that was oh god so satisfying damn I picked up way too many planks okay we're gonna grab two iron ingot right off the stove make 20 nails just like that let's get these built ah. here we go 
And yes, sir. Okay, where'd all them bricks go? There they are. That's what I'm talking about. Get that. Now we can store at least most of these bricks or dry them. Yeah, so the extra was two extra ones in here. They despawned already. Okay, now it's a waiting game. Oh, wait. Dried brick. What? Already? Okay, let's see if we can take all. Yes, we can. And I think we need 50 bricks per. Okay, well, I think literally we have enough to build both of them. Let's see, what is it? 50 bricks? Yeah, and we need 100 bricks. Let's see how far we've gotten. Good. Ah, oh, my finger. That's 50. Okay, we need 40 more. That should do the trick. While we're at it. There's those wet bricks. While we're at it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably smelt some more. Well, damn, we've got more wet bricks. Smelt some more iron ingot. Because we need, we need one more for this one. So... Go ahead and take that. Bam. One done. But hell, we probably don't have to smelt anymore. Yeah, we need three more. Well, hell, I can smelt them in here. Okay. We are in business, baby. It's nighttime. Let's, let's go ahead and sleep. Get some of our energy back. There we go. Wake up about 9 o'clock. It's a little late, but oh well. What the hell's growing here? Okay, we need stones for the fire. I think this build turned out a lot better than the last one. Everything seems to flow better. There we go. Got our fire back. Oh yeah, we need to fill the fire with more fire logs after making a fire with fire logs. There we go. Light the fires. Drop the meat. Yes, we're eating the liver. Okay. We get that nice and cooked up. Now we've got protein. We're going to need to start a garden here soon. Looks like our meat is cooked. Don't want to burn it now. Let's eat up. Oh. Oh, yes. One animal equals one full bar of protein. Might as well cook this one, too. Okay. Here's our homestead. Looks plain, uh, but it's cozy. And we're back where we left off from the, <laughs> from the last update. It is better. It's going to go a lot more smooth. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section. We encountered enemies at least this time. Or a parade of clowns. And we're, we're just going to move on from here. But I, I would really like to know what you guys think so far. If you want me to proceed, I will. But I think what we're going to do, because we haven't been raided <laughs> by the Brady Bunch in a couple days. Now that I've got a spear, I'm going to run up. First, I'm going to save it. My health is pretty far down. Do I have another MRE? I do not. Okay. So we're just going to have to accept the fact that our health is low. And we are going to go attack one of these things before I end this video. Just to see what happens. I know there's some back here in the caves. I'm assuming there's caves back here. Up here. Yeah, maybe I'm going the wrong direction. I don't know. But I saw some. Oh my god, there's a bear. We're officially dead. Yep, I, I died by bear. <laughs> oh, hey, we're back alive. No consequence whatsoever. Let's grab this meat. Oh, and we got full health. How convenient. I'm going to get my protein up. I'm going to get just manly before we charge. We got to remember there's a bear over here, though. It doesn't matter how manly you are. You know, bears. Not a good thing. Can I run around this bear? Yeah. Now, we haven't made a bow yet. We do have hide. We will do that in the next episode. Why didn't I grab my four wheel? Am I stupid? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm stupid. All right. All right. Jump on the four wheeler. There's a cave system up here. Let's go check it out. Oh, 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 oh. The hell is that? Oh. <laughs> 
Now, I forgot that I have a shield that I can use. I, I just killed two of them with this spear. Okay, maybe the game's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> but, yeah, still. Harvest dead body. What the hell? We got a feather off a dead body? Look at these dudes. That is so strange. He had paper on him. What did I just pick up? So this is all the technology. Kind of like a handbook. Uh, but that's not what we picked up. I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. So yeah, the spear is very deadly. We took minimal damage on that. We took out two people. And there's a bunch more over here. I'm going to harvest this. Okay. I just want to get one of their attention. One of them's, one of their, them's attention. One of them's. I want to get one of them's attention. I'm going to stab him right in the back. Okay, they're angry. He's got a fucking shield. Uh, my... My spear broke. ATV time, baby! Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah, th yeah that... Yeah! Okay, that sucked. I want to get my ATV at least close to the base. I don't want to lose it. So yeah, spears suck. We need an upgraded spear, a metal one. We've got plenty of ingot to make one. But at least we know we can kill him now. There we go. Uh, dude, they're way too fast, bro. Especially that dude. I want to be able to hit with my axe. Why can't... This is not... It's not fair. Look at, look at this. That is a wacky bunch of enemies. Oh, they're still here. The construction, dude. <laughs> yeah, come on and kill me, man. Let's get this over with. Since an axe literally does nothing to you. So stupid. I can't wait to, to cramp the damn bow. Yeah, come on, man. You want me to crouch? <laughs> You're a loser. All right, guys. I hope you like this episode. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. I post a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I have a band gameplay series that I cannot post on YouTube, and it's for the $10 tiers and up on Utreon. Link is down in the description. It's very banned. It's very vulgar. Very crude. Live stream on Twitch on the weekends. I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.